Hello guys, welcome again to another qualification video. Now today we are going to qualify for answer relevance, this one. Okay, so let's all log into our UHRS accounts and let's qualify for this one. In case you still don't have an account, use the links in the description below and get your own account. So as usual guys, start by downloading the guideline, this one, and uh, keep it open. I have mine open here. Uh, this one is a seven page guideline so take your time and go through it okay now let's start by qualifying for this one and i'll remind you to watch this video until the end because most of the questions i'm, I'm going to do here you'll also get them on your side okay so in this etab we've been provided with the user query this one and the answer so this is the answer so our job is to identify the intent of the user query by looking at the search result and determining if the provided answer is relevant to what the user is looking for, okay? So first of all, we need to identify and understand the query. Read the query and understand it. In case you don't understand it, use the search result to understand the context and the intent of the query, this one. Just click on Bing. And this will give you uh, the suggested result of what the user was trying to look for, okay? So go through that also. Now, then you come to the source page. This one, just click on it. Okay. Confirm the source page is available and on, on topic. So just confirm, go through the source page and check if it's talking about the query. And also the answer now check if the answer is also available in in the source page if the answer is not available in the source page just come down here and click on but and you submit okay if the source page is also irrelevant to the query just come and click on but and you submit okay now let's say that you you've gone through the source page and you found out that the answer available here is not complete let's say that the user was trying to look for a list of things on the query but uh, the answer is all, only provides one or two okay you just come down here and click on fair because that answer is not complete okay but in case the answer uh, satisfies the query answers the query directly and correctly you just come down here and you click on good and you submit so let's say that the You've clicked the source page. You click the source page and it did not load. Okay, or it gives you an error of 404. You just come down here and click on bad. Okay, then you submit. Okay, now with all that, let's try to qualify for this one. So let's start. So So this one is a home homeward bound anime voices. So this one is looking for voices for home bound anime. So this one is a animation. So this one. So voices. So this one is looking for a list of things. So let's check. Wait. Yes, starrings here. Yeah, this is the list. So, yeah. So with this one, you can see the the answer is correct. So I just come down here and click on good. Then I submit. We move to the next one. It's overborn born there. So for like this one, I'll come to Bing and see the intent of the query okay 
then we come to source page and check the answer there so the answer is some babies I don't accept all some babies are born with full name So for like this one, <laughs> let's check it again. Don't even see the answer here. So let's try to search for it. Some um, babies. Is everyone born with hair? Hmm. So So for this one, I don't see the answer there. So I'll just come down here and see. And so it's not relevant. Wait. come and click on good then I submit we go to the next one customer care For this one also I'll come and click on good then I submit per population 2020 so in 2020 the current population in Peru is 2020 okay, let's go to the source page mm -hmm. Now 
now the payroll population is so let's check 2020 okay okay this answer is from here okay the current population of Peru is that one it's of sand as of when is it the August 2020 2021 this 2020 we are looking for 2020 this is 2021 Peru population mm -hmm. So in 2020 population The current population of Peru is based on as of some the others based on wild population of that. Peru twenty twenty one population is is estimated at thirty two. Mm -hmm. And here. Now for this one, I can see the, the population are different in number. So here at the source page, it says the population is estimated at 32 million. But here, the population is estimated as 33 million as of Wednesday, October, based on world worldometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data. Yeah, Peru 2020 population is estimated at 32.9. Yes, this one is the correct. 32.9. Okay, so this answer is correct. So I click on good. Then I submit. We go to the next one. Let them see in the 80s. So popular things in the 80s things in the 80s so this one is looking for a list of things in the 80s so let's check the source page the books so 45 things from your 90s childhood so already this one is wrong because we are looking for the answers of things to do in the 80s and uh, the source page is, uh, provides the things to do in the 90s so let's scroll down and see if they mentioned even one so 45 things so ready this one i can see the answer is irrelevant so i'll come and click on bad then answer is irrelevant and i submit we'll go to the next one How tall are wall cabinets in a kitchen? So how tall are wall cabinets in a kitchen? So in a standard kitchen, the wall cabinets are typically 30 to 36 inch tall. So let's check the source page. If the same answer is there. Standard dimension for kitchen cabinets, okay. Custom, okay. Mm 
so the question was for how tall are wall cabinets so wall cabinets height depth okay well wall cabinets are okay 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 height how tall okay. in a standard kitchen the wall cabinets are typically 30 and 36 so let's check so in a standard kitchen wall cabinets are 30 and 36 inches so already this one is correct because the answer provided here we were looking for the height because how tall of wall cabinets and this one is how tall of wall cabinets 30 to 36 inches tall so i'll come and click on good then i submit we go to the next one how to aid a beetle so go to drop clothes okay Japanese beetle how to aid a beetle how to aid a beetle so really this one is not good we'll give it fair but let's just because already this one is giving us a Japanese beetle but we were looking for a beetle they didn't specify which beetle we are looking for so how to aid a beetle so how to get rid of japanese beetle in the garden japanese beetle so for this one i'll come and click on fair then answer is answer is moderately too narrow to the query yeah wait let's check Japanese beetle, Japanese beetle, Japanese beetle. Japanese beetle. So the source page is talking about Japanese beetle, but we are looking for how to aid a beetle. They didn't specify. So the answer is moderately too narrow to compare to the query. Then we submit. We go to the next one. Photo app problem in Windows 10. Okay. 10 effective fixes. Okay, so let's check. Windows 10 photo app not working. Photo app problems in Windows 10. Okay, so the source page is talking about the query, which is good. So let's see. Five effective fixes to Windows 10 photo app not working. So for effective solution, solution one, solution two. So really, this one the user is looking for a list of thing and uh, things, and uh, the answer has also provided a list of things as the answer so solution one solution one where's solution two solution two so this one is good i come and click on good then i submit blue badge application we go to the next one let's check the source page for this one blue badge application so blue badge application already the source page is talking about the query which is good so let's check if the answer is also good blue badge application should be processed and okay so application
after you've applied a blue badge application should now already you see this query blue badge application this query was about blue badge application but the answer is the answer answers after application as you can see after application the blue badge application should be processed under decision made within 12 12 weeks so ready this one so for this one wait let's see Okay, wait. Okay. You need to be very careful, guys, when answering these things. The budget applications already this one is not good. The budget application should be processed. So for this one, I'll come and click on fair. So then I click on answer is related to unlikely but still possible user intent. Then I submit. Then we go to the next one. Replacing day night shade step. So this one is a list of things. So let's check how to replace. The string every daylight shade okay motor home How to replace okay. mm -hmm. gives procedural things. So for this one, it has given a very long list. So I'll come and click on good, then I submit. And yes, guys, we've passed. As uh, you you can see, we've passed. So I hope you you've seen all the questions and all the answers I've given. So I hope this video helps you too. In case you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more video like this ones. I usually upload video like this one every week. So please subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I highly appreciate it. I hope this video helps. See you in the next one. Bye.